How to identify bad cashew and how to preserve good cashew. That is the topic I'm addressing this time. And we are starting right now. Welcome back. My name is Olubi Ngadi Titun and this is the Olubi Ngadi Titun YouTube channel. Today we are addressing the issue of how to identify bad cashew and how to preserve good cashew. How to spot bad cashew and how to preserve good cashew. You have discovered a great bag of cashews in the pantry or fridge. The nuts appear to be fine, despite the lack of a date on the label. How can you tell if a cashew is bad? Or perhaps there's a package with a date written on it and it's already three to seven weeks past that deadline. The problem is that the nuts appear to be brand new. Should you throw out expired cashew for safety reasons or you should consume it? That is what and what I'm talking to you this morning. Continue watching this video to learn and to recognize bad cashew and to preserve good cashew. What the distinction between an expiry date and a best before date? So when we say we have expiry date and we have a best before date, what is different? Both dates apply to food that has remained unopened and in its original packaging. The nutritional content of food after a certain date is referred to as its expiry date. The best before date is essentially the shelf life of the food in its unopened package. Best before dates refer to food quality, whereas used by dates refer to food safety. This is because used by dates are typically found on perishable foods. This should be strictly enforced because food that has passed its used by date may be unsafe to consume, even if it still looks and smells fine. An expiry date is not the same as a best before date. These dates are requested on certain foods that have specific nutritional compositions that may deteriorate after the expiration date has passed. In other words, after the expiration date, the food may no longer have the, nutri the nutrient content specified on the label. For formulated liquids, diets, Food sold by a pharmacist, meal replacements, nutritional supplements, and infant formula expiry dates are required. If a food item has passed its expiration date, it should be discarded rather than consumed. A best before date on a food package indicates when the food shelf life expires. Durable life is defined as the anticipated amount of time that an unopened food product will retain its freshness, its taste, retain its nutritional value when stored under appropriate conditions or any other qualities claimed by the manufacturer. This date is printed on a package beneath the words best before or melu avant, which is French for best before. This date informs customers and consumers of that that the unopened product will be of high quality until that date. The key point with this date is that it is contingent on the product being handled and stored correctly in accordance with the requirements of that specific food product. This means that Failing to follow the handling and storage instructions for a specific product will reduce its quality by the best before date. This also means that once a package has been opened, the best before date is no longer valid. Best before dates do not guarantee that a full product is safe for consumption, for customers to prepare and preserve. To ensure that a food product is safe for consumption, food businesses must ensure that food handler 
protocols and food safety rules are followed. Why am I saying this? Because cashew needs to be preserved if you're not taking it in a month, in a two, or even in a month. Please keep in mind that the bed before date is not the same as the expiration date. Can cashews expire? Can cashews get spoiled? How can you tell if cashews are bad or still? First and foremost, cashews can and they do go bad and some and they can become spoiled. The signs they exhibit are similar to those displayed by other nuts. The following are indications that cashew has been spoiled. Number one is shriveled. It is it becomes shriveled, it becomes discolored. The kernels they have off looks usually mean the knot is gone. When you discover mold, that mold may be microorganism build up, fungi, bacteria build up. Mold discovered in the package, like with almost all other foods, like the bread mold. You find such growing on your cashew, you should not take that cashew, it is spot. Then rancid nuts have a paint like chemical or bitter odor and a hard bitter taste. If they taste terrible, discard them. If your cashews are free of all of the above, they are probably safe to eat. That is also true if they are a few weeks or even months past their due date. Of course, if you have stored the nuts in questionable conditions, warm temperature, direct sunlight, and you have not, you are not sure they are safe to eat, throw them out. If in doubt, toss them out. What is the shelf life of cashews? The following cashew information gives us an idea of how long cashews last. One to three weeks if stored in the pantry. Five months if stored in the refrigerator. And ten months if it is frozen. So you can preserve your cashew for one to three weeks in the pantry. For five months in the refrigerator. And for 10 months or more in your freezer. Food apps provide a very short shelf life for room temperature storage. This is incongruous given that cashews are frequently sold in bulk bins in supermarkets. If the estimate is correct, the cashews will be spoiled in many supermarkets that, as you and I both know, is not the case. According to additional research, the following storage plans are recommended. Six months at 68, 58 degrees Fahrenheit, that is 20 degrees, that is at around two room temperature, and 12 months in the refrigerator. That appears to be more accurate. Backed cashews typically have use by dates ranging from six months to a year. And there is no need to keep them stored in cold. To cut a long story short, if you keep cashews at room temperature, they should keep their quality for about a half a year, maybe a little longer. They should last at least a year if you go with the fridge. If that isn't enough, freezing them is an option. Freezing them will make them to last longer. If the label includes a date, use it as a guideline. The date that is on the label, use it as a guideline. Don't go beyond that date in your consuming time. As previously stated, the nurse will not go bad after that date, but you should expect a loss of quality and possibly so-so tasting cashews. How do you then keep cashews? When it comes to storage, the standard options are pantry, fridge, and freezer. Why is this so? This is because cashews are always shelled. The storage practices are the same no matter where you keep them. And those storage practices are as follows. 
keep cashews tightly sealed. You can use a tight container like a bottle, like a plastic, like a nylon. So you seal it. An airtight container or a freezer bag are both excellent options. If you choose the latter option, freeze out all the air before sealing. Keep them in a cool and dark place that is already taken care of by the refrigerator and by the freezer. When we say cool and, and dark, the refrigerator, by the time you close the door, it gets dark. For room temperature, sorry, select a dry cabinet away from each sources. If your plan is to snack on cashews throughout the day, you want to be taking your cashews bit by bit, one every 10 minutes. Keep a week's wort in a bowl on the counter and the rest should go into storage. Based on the shelf life discussed earlier, cold storage makes sense only if you need to keep cashews for an extended period of time. That, however, is not the case for the vast majority of cashew eaters. Last but not the least on this, if you live in a hot climate and your cashews go stale quickly at room temperature, put them in the fridge. Let me summarize what I've said so far on this subject of how to identify bad cashew and how to preserve good cashew so that it can last longer. Cashews keep for a long time at room temperature. Cold storage isn't strictly necessary. Store the nuts tightly sealed in a cool dry place from direct sunlight. Then discard moldy dried out or ranch seed cashew because if you don't discard it it is going to affect other cashews that are still good as it is said in the proverb one bad egg will destroy the other eggs that are good this is where i'm going to draw the curtain on this um subject on this topic today of how to identify bad cashew and how to preserve good cashew. I know you have added value to you through this video. What then do you do for me? I don't want you to do much. Just do these things. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Share this video widely over your Facebook page, over your, tweet, your Twitter page, over your um, share it with your friends on LinkedIn, on WhatsApp, on Telegram groups. Share it widely. Share it on Kura. Share it even on YouTube also. Share it in blogs. Copy the link to blogs. And then drop your comment in the comment section below. Do not take bad cashew because it can cause disease. Preserve your good cashew so that you can eat it for longer. My name again is Olubin Gadetetun. And I'll be happy to talk to you again soon. I have more than 200 videos on various subjects and I want you to look at them one after the other and you are going to be glad you did. Until I come your way again soon.